the hood champion boxing sport. This ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't it. Let me tell y'all something right now, man. That ain't it. That's not. That's not it, Rolly. That's that's not gonna get the job done against um, Aesop Pitbull Cruz. I'm just telling y'all right now that that thing that Rolly Romero doing, that's not gonna get the job done. And I'm not saying that wishing him bad. I just think it's just a suicide mission that they got Rolly Romero on, having him go out here. Changing his his trainer, changing his style of fighting, um, having to think because he's not going to be doing things instinctively. Ending with a guy like Pitbull Cruz, who's coming to take your head off. I I like Rolly Romero. I'm going to be honest. I want Rolly to win, but I just I, I just don't think this is it. I don't think this is it, man. Um, we just got to wait and see. Can Rolly knock out Pitbull? He has the power to do it. You know, will he get the job done? You know, I don't know about that. But I don't like to see, you know, fighters go from one trainer to another trainer and going into probably the biggest fight of their career uh, or to just a big fight, period. I mean, it, you've seen time and time again where some of these, these fighters, they don't look that well. It, it's going to take time for them to gel with their trainer and for them to, 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 to be able to to respond the way the trainer wants. And with this guy, uh, I think it's, I think it's a Salas is his name, right? Um, he's a good trainer, but I, I'm just not so sure that, I just gotta wait and see how, how Roley performs, man. Um, Roley is one of those guys who has like a, uh, he's like a brawler, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and to me, it's like Malik Scott trying to make Deontay Wilder into a boxer. Have him using head movement, lateral movement, um, tripling the jab, throwing the hooks off the, off the jab and shit. That's not Deontay Wilder's style. Just because it looks good, because that's some basic fundamentals of boxing, that doesn't mean it's going to be effective when someone tries to add that to their, ar to their arsenal. Deontay Wilder is a simple, very fortunate Jab, one, two, put the hook behind it. You know what I'm saying? Keep his distance. He's tall, he's long, he's got power. You're complicating shit, having him trying to be Muhammad Ali. Rolly Romero is more of a brawler. Almost Ricardo Mayorga like You know what I'm saying? He gets in close and he lets those hands go and touches you. He's going to hurt you. He's more like a Mexican-style fighter. You know what I mean? Very physical. Marcos Maidana. Maidana is to a certain extent. Very physical, very ugly. Uh, and he do, he'll do whatever he has to do to win the fight. Why are you trying to take Rolly Romero and, and turn him into a boxer? I just think it's a, I just think this is, I don't like what I'm seeing, man. But, you know, hey, who knows? But I tell you what, if he's trying to get in there on Pitbull Cruz and, you know, throw an uppercut and hook in close, Cruz is going to come overhand with that right and left. Cruz can fight, man. Cruz can fight. You can't be in there trying to get cute, cute with uh with Cruz. Cruz is already low. He puts that high guard up, and then he gets even lower. Then he explodes. I just think this is gonna be an embarrassing fight. I, I think Roley Romero could. I'm rooting for Roley. But if Roley can control the fight, Roley has a good chance to win. But if he gets in there and he can't figure Cruz out, I think Roley Romero goes down like Charles Martin against Anthony Joshua. Just sitting there like, what the hell is going on? I'm getting hit with some shit here. And I think Roland Merrill won't even make it out the first round because Pitbull Cruz comes like a damn buzzsaw, a Mexican buzzsaw. I give it, I, I say if Roland's going to win, it'll be over the distance. Uh, but if he's going to lose, I say in the first round, Roland could get knocked out. That's how much of a problem it is, I think, with what they're trying to, to, to teach, but who knows? I could be wrong. I'm rooting for Roley, but I, if he doesn't get knocked out in the first round, I think Roley could win 
over the, the course of the fight. I say if he gets out of four rounds, Roley may be all right. But I just think no first four rounds, especially that first round is going to be hell for Roley, especially if he's he's trying to do something that doesn't come naturally. But I don't know. I just don't think three, four months is enough time to totally overhaul your boxing style. I just don't think so. That's me. Anyway, y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.